Cody's law has been in effect since last November. It increased penalties for adults who let minors drink or do drugs in their home. Cody's family hopes telling his story will save lives. He died in September, so this was like in April of 04. Seven years have passed since Cody Greenhawn died. You know, you never get over the death of a child, and he was uh, 16 when he died. He was a junior. Cody died from a drug and alcohol overdose at a party hosted by another teen's parents. His mom, Sariva Greenhaw, contacted state lawmakers six weeks later. When this happened to Cody, it wasn't even on my radar screen. Now, if you host a party and supply minors with drugs or alcohol, you could face a minimum fine of $500 or up to five years in prison. I just think if, if parents really realized how harmful it was, that they would um, put more thought into the decisions. The Oklahoma ABLE Commission is trying to raise awareness about Cody's law. In the past, we had to prove who actually furnished the alcohol or the drugs to the kid to charge the person at the house. Now we don't. Now just providing a place where they're able to drink it is a crime. Special Agent Eric Smoot says underage drinking is a growing problem. These things are happening all the time right here where we live. We've got to make a difference somewhere. We've got to make a change. Cody's law won't bring back Sariva's son, but she hopes it will save lives. We miss him terribly. Um, and it just is, is uh, you know, it just adds insult to a tragedy like this when it's something that could be prevented. Underage drinking cost Oklahomans nearly $1 billion in 2010. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.